Okay, I'm getting more questions. So I'm checking Clarissa. Please Clarissa, can you always indicate the number? Because I just saw let the number be X. I can't see what question you're solving, but I can assume it's question three. All right, so please always indicate the number. Okay. Okay, so you said since X is a natural number, therefore X is equal to, but the question never said find X, remember? The questions, the statement was find the number. So do not use X in your conclusion, okay? Uh -huh. So you can say since X is a natural number, therefore the number is 14 instead of, therefore X is 14. Every other thing looks good. Good job, good job, good job. Clary, Clary, reading, something that's on now. Uh, Mr. B, did you recall the question? Why? Yes, I realized I did not write the conclusion. Yeah. Okay. So I'll look forward to your conclusion. Miss V, I'm looking at your question now. Why is Vena using a pencil? Come on, you're a big girl. You are a big girl, Miss V. Where is she? Can't even see her. Can I say something so that your image can pop up? So I can see you. Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay, there she is. Uh, even though I can't see you, but I know you're there. Can you see yourself on the screen? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I can see you now. All right. Why do you use pencil to avoid mistakes? I'm used to using also pencil. Okay. All right, that's fine. As long as, uh, okay, the number is this or that. Oh, I love that. Good, 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 good. So first one is right. The third one, no, second question is correct. The second one, since N belongs to N, I love this. Then n is not equal to that. Therefore, instead of saying n is equal to 14, can you say the number is 14? Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guys, uh, look at this notation. I love this. Can you see this? Since n belongs to n. So instead of writing since the number is natural, can you see what she did? You can also do this. That's why I'm sharing it. Okay? Everybody understand what I mean? Hello, I'm talking to form five. Yeah. Can you see this? Since n belongs to n, it means it implies that n is not equal to 15, minus 15. Therefore, the number is that. So you can always uh, do that too. Good job, well done. <clears throat> Let's see the next, Callista. Callista? Let's call this time. Hello, can she say something? I'm not seeing everybody. Hi. You have to say something so I can see you. Okay. Okay, I still can't see her. I'm gonna find out. Okay, there she is. All right, first one looks good. So I don't know who to give the marks to. Uh, am I gonna record this for you or for your cards? Because both of you always attend the class. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is this for you or for the cards? <laughs> All right, that's correct. Good job. Let's see the next one. Yeah, Mr. Ethan Chang, the dude who likes to send me a message at the middle of the night, then advised me to go to bed early. Have you heard about the phrase, practice what you preach, Mr. Chang? It's yeah, high time. Sleep after I told you. It's, it's high time you started practicing what you preach, bro. <laughs> I'm sleeping earlier now. I sleep at like right. one or two. Okay, so number is five. And this program is five. And what is that, Mr. Chang? Your conclusion is somehow. Therefore, what? You don't need problem. this part if I may show you this. You see this? Mm -hmm. This part, we don't need it. Oh, okay. Is that checking? Are you checking? 
Yeah, I'm just checking. Well, you can check somewhere and they will be put it in a box as a check. It's not, then after the check, then you put the conclusion. Where's your conclusion? Your conclusion should be immediately after you get your X. Therefore, right. the number is five or one over five. Then you can later check in a box away from the solution. This looks like this is a continuation. Okay? Right. Inside that, every other thing is good. Okay. Uh, let's see, this is crystal C. The number should be five or crystal C. Kai, can I call you Kai? Yeah. That, can I get it right, Kai? Yes. Because I had a lazy Kai in my class. So I guess I have two Kais now as students or you know, I will always say I had two Kais as students. One is lazy Kai, one is not lazy Kai. One is a talking Kai, one is a quiet Kai. Why is it opposite? Anyway, so your conclusion should be the number. The number is five or one over five. The number can be both, all right? Because we're just saying, oh, we can either get this or we get that. Both of them will work. So use all. The number is five or one over five. Good job. Okay. Krista K, Miss, I slept off and I couldn't come to your class earlier. Where is she? Where is Miss Quiet, Krista? There she is. Okay, so let's check that. First one is good. Since X belongs to natural number, good. I like this conclusion also. Very good. Can you see? Am I, can you see your work? Mm -hmm. This is really good. Since X belongs to N, X is not equal to B, then the number is 14. Perfect. I love that. Good job. I look forward to receiving the next set of solutions. Mr. B. No decimal, come on, Brandy, no decimal. And you don't conclude by saying rejected, all right? You don't conclude by saying rejected, write a comment. Don't be lazy, bro, where you at? Understood? Write a comment, okay? Don't conclude, and I appreciate if you use fraction, no decimal. All right, okay, good job. Let's see, root submission is next. Nikita. Nikita, three is checked, correct, good job. Two is also checked, correct, good job. Kalista, I have the three now, checked, and it's correct. Kalista, you keeps, uh, I don't know if you did that in the previous one. Yeah, in the previous one was good, the number is in this one. You said n is equal to, I told you, I want, the conclusion to be as a, the statement is. The statement is find the number. Is this n or x? Your variable, you introduce x, your conclusion is n. What's that? Uh, the number. N is, n is not a natural number. n is not 15 or n is not negative 15. It's not. Uh, Can you look at negative. the screen? Can you look at the screen? Yeah. X is the number. N is your comment. Something doesn't add up. Uh, yeah. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Then your final conclusion should be the number is 14. Yes. Because the statement is find the number. Do you get all the correction now? So you're correcting three things. This variable must be consistent. Hmm. You're not looking at my screen, young lady. The variable must be, con must be consistent. This number is negative 15, and this should be a statement, not a mathematical expression. Okay? Thank you. Let's see who is next. Good job, guys. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Miss K, where you at, Miss K? By the way, did you see my message? I sent you a message. I sent the title, your title, as a message to you. Me? Mm hmm. I wanted you to smile, but unfortunately, you didn't get a message. So I Where guess you didn't smile. 
Just now on Zoom. <laughs> no, not now on Zoom. Some time ago. Oh really? I gave it a title that I gave Clarissa initially. So she's the baby where, of the class. Where am I supposed to see it? Oh, you don't know where the chat button is? No way, yeah, I know. Have you seen it? Oh. Yeah, yeah. that was Clarissa's title, too, but now Clarissa is no longer the baby of the class. So now you're the baby of the class until you're no longer the baby of the class. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I'm checking your work now. Very good, seen. Let's go to the next one. Good job, Leo. Checking now. Wonderful. Leo. Yes, Mr. Leo. Yes. Okay, sir. Please, can you see this? The number is that, right? Yeah. You also put the reciprocal. Just stick to the number. If number you read the five, question, you know, the number, the question just says, oh, what, what is this? Actually, the question say find the number, right? Okay. And the number is this five. five. And the other okay. option is that the number is also one over five. Okay. So it's five or one over five? Yes. Okay, okay. You don't need to talk about the reciprocal. Okay? All right. Good job. Let's see the next one. Well done, everybody. Let's see the next one. Turum, turum, turum. Can you hear that? Can you hear my notification? My WeChat notification? No? Okay. Good. Your headphones on, we can't hear. You can hear it? No, we can't because you have headphones on. Oh, I'm trying to see how. Anyway, I'll try to work that out. That if I'm playing something like I was playing the, the textbook uh, self tutor thing that the last time you couldn't hear, I'm trying to see how. One can do that. Anyway. Vena, I'm checking question five now for you. The product of two consecutive odd numbers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Vena, why did you have to go through this? Miss V. Where are you at? Hi. Okay. Hello. Okay. So you assume two n plus one. Why? Because it's odd. Odd. Yeah. You can just speak n as odd. Okay. Mm, you are, I think you are thinking of the mathematical proof that we did. So you assume any time odd is mentioned, it has to be in the form of two n plus one. I did that also. Yeah. You you shouldn't. The only thing we need to consider is the gap. What is the gap between any two odd numbers? Two. So let one be k, and the next one will be k plus two. That's all you should do this time. Okay? You don't need to use two n plus one and two n plus three. Of course, you get the right answer, but it's just a waste of time. Okay? So what you can do, Vena and uh, was that Brandy who did the same thing? Yes. All right. What you guys can do is work another solution. Don't erase what you have done. What you have done is not wrong. It's just too long. Okay, uh, show you what I mean now on the board. So the numbers can be k and k plus two. You don't have to say let the odd numbers, all right? You can just say let the numbers k and k plus two. Okay, or n and n plus two, or p and p plus two. Okay, no need to say two n plus one and two n plus three. No need for this. Okay, you need to put it in this form when you are trying in in other in other contexts, not in this context. In this situation, we don't need that. How that is clear. Because at the end of the day, you are going to find the value of n, right? So at the beginning, you will assume that n is odd. So whatever you get is the odd number. Okay? 
But here, when we say an odd number is 2n plus 1, this is for any natural number, right? This is for any natural number. But this time around, your n can be assumed as the odd number itself. Then the next odd number will be this. So the idea of being odd, are you listening, you and Brandy? The idea of being odd is for you to consider the gap in between the consecutive numbers. Does that make sense? So let's take note of that. Good. Let's see the next submission. Nakita. Good. Let the first number be x and the next number be x plus 2. Now, so Nakita. Yeah. So what you could do in short form, what you could say in short form is let the odd numbers be x and x plus 2. Okay. Oh, okay. Instead of saying, let the first one be x and let you are not, the second is not an assumption. Okay? Okay, you said then the next number be, so is, is, this is, statement sound like you are still assuming the next number to be x plus 2. You get my point? But you are not assuming it to be x plus 2. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so this looks good. Let the first number be a. So you don't even need to call it the first number. Just put both of them together like I did on the board. Let the number be numbers be x and x plus two. Okay. Or let the let the first number be x, which implies you know the implication symbol, which implies that the next number is x plus two. So the implication is from the first assumption, from the first statement, which is an assumption. You are not assuming both statements. One is an assumption. One is what that led to. That's an implication of the statement. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. So it's like saying, if Nakita does her work, then she gets a nice coffee. So in doing the work is the supposition. Mm -hmm. She gets a nice coffee is not supposition. It's an implication of if you do that. Do you understand? Uh -huh. So it is a minor thing. It's not significant. It's not important. If you write in a standard exam like this, at your level, of course, nobody will question it. This is just me being OCD in maths. You get what I mean? Uh -huh. So, good job. Um, let's go back to the book. Uh, has anyone completed the questions? So I can add the next set of round of questions. Anyway, how me? Oh, which one? Up to where? Hi. Whoa, and you didn't say anything, lazy girl. She doesn't want to work. <laughs> <laughs> you are correct, mother, so I just listen. Lazy work, lazy girl, mm -hmm. lazy girl. Why didn't you try uh, some of the ones at the back? Did I send? So, what was the last word problem question I sent to the class? Look at the screenshot I sent to the group before. What was the last one there? Eight. Eight, okay, let's see. So I'm gonna send from nine to the group, so from five, from five, from five. There we go, there we go, there we go. So that's nine. I'll send an example here. It's an example that was done, so that might be useful to anybody. And after the example, this question 10. Okay, uh, let's remove this one. So I'm sending the example and question 10 together. Question 10 is below the example, please take note of that. And let's send. Eleven to 13 together. Um, let's send 14 and 15 together. Okay, so 
we're just going to keep practicing throughout the class. So, so if you are done with seven, uh, let's pick a sign. Lillian, which one are you doing right now? Like the new ones that you sent? Uh, eight and nine. Okay, so I'm assigning eight and nine. I'm assigning eight, nine, ten. After that, actually, we're just going to continue eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. But we can't finish it. So wherever we stop by the end of the class, then you guys can continue on your own. Okay. And if you need me to send the solution to compare your answer, please message me privately on WeChat. Then I will send you the picture of the solution. Is that clear, everyone? So after this, we are done with everything quadratic and all the necessary applications that we need to do in IB. Okay, so I'm checking after Nakita is Clarissa. Let's see. This is question seven for Clarissa. Uh, I can see decimal here, Clarissa. Find the width. Oh. Let's see. Length is for C and longer than the width. The area is that. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's decimal, huh? Uh, Lilian, are you, you talking seven? about question seven? Did you get decimal? I kept it in thirds. What? I kept it in thirds. Oh. Clarissa, did I you got get decimal that? in question seven, too. Mm. So decimal is correct. Uh, I think unless uh, it is stated, I think it's better to have your answer in exact form, which is in search form. Understood that, Clarissa? Okay. Mm. You know how to go about that, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so, but uh, Brandy, could you give me the figures that you got? Um, decimal. Uh, I got X equals to negative 7. Uh, 7.5 and X equals to 3.5. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Then one of them will have to be rejected and yeah, the other will be used to find the other stuff, okay. Yeah. But the question says find its width. The width oh, I is did, I did width as x, so I did length as x so plus four. Good. Then Clarissa. Clary, Clary. Then you don't have to substitute back Clarissa. Can you see why? Because the question says find the width, and you already said let the width be x. Okay. So once you get your X, that's the end of the story. You don't have to guess Y. And next time, instead of saying, and the length be Y equals X plus four, let the width be X, then the length is X plus four. You don't have to call it Y. You don't have to bring it another variable. Then uh, you can leave it in sort form next time. Okay? Yeah. Uh, Callista, you're the next to be checked. Then the numbers, call list are numbers, okay? Numbers. Did you hear that, call list? Two consecutive odd numbers, yeah. two, five, five. Let the numbers, mm -hmm. all right. Two consecutive odd numbers, okay. So the numbers can be 15 and this, or negative 15 and that. Very good. Good job, good job, good job. Mr. Leo, I got another one. Aha, well done, Leo. This is good. Good job, good job, good job. Krista C. So, question three checked, two checked. Uh, Krista. Yes. Uh, question three, well, let me see. What's question three asking for? The sum of 
natural number and the square is this finding number. Okay. Remember, natural number is not going to be negative. So you can't have 15 or minus 14. Okay, because it's a natural number. Understood? So I just make the last con last statement to be the number should be 14. But you have to also explain why the number cannot be negative 15. So your conclusion should be something like um, since x is a natural number, so something like this. So you can have a conclusion like since x is a natural number, you can write in symbolic form. Okay, you don't have to write in words, you can write in words if you want. Since x is a natural number, then, or you can say it implies that x is not equal to negative 15. Okay, and that means x can only be 14, right? Therefore, the number is 14. Like that. Taking the next one now. For question five, it said the numbers are two x plus one and two x plus three. Did you uh, hear my explanation when I corrected some other people here? I wrote it here. Um, can you see the board? No. Can you see the board now? Yes. Uh -huh. So let the numbers be this and this. It's okay. You see, in proof, if we are dealing with maybe square of odd number, oh, show that the square of an odd number is also odd. Or, you understand? If we are trying to prove that, in that case, you can't say let n be odd number. Even if you say let n be the odd number, if, if let n be the odd number, for example, then n must be in the form 2k plus 1 then you can take the square of 2k plus 1 and do the necessary proof, okay? Or directly, we always assume, let the number be maybe 2n plus 1 because it is odd. That is in proof. And in this case, when we say let the number be 2n plus 1, we always include a, add a condition that n, in this case, is a natural number, isn't it? This will only be odd for all natural numbers. You agree? Aha. Now, having said that, or even for integers, actually, not just natural number, for all integers. Having said that, in this case, we are not in that, we are not talking about uh, that type of question, that we need to always express it in the form that we represent an odd number. Here, we already assume that is odd. So just pick a variable. Of course, if this is written properly, it could have been 2t plus 1. Okay, but we are not interested in this. We're interested in the variable. Because at the end of the day, the question is to find the odd number, which means the question is to find the k, not to find the t. That is the new parameter. So when you're dealing with quadratic equation or any word problem that has to do with odd number or even number, represent it with a simple variable. Don't use this form. This form is used when you're trying to establish a proof. I need to write it in a proper form. If you're writing a proof and the question say, look at the first one. The sum of is a number and a square. Then you mention n square plus n plus n square is equal to something, right? We never said n plus k, where k is in form of t squared. There's no need to go into all those details. Do you understand my question now? So it's a word problem. You go straight to the point. You don't need to do what you did. Which is why, uh, after you've got your value, you have to substitute back into 2x plus 1 and 2x plus 3. No, you could have done that directly. Okay, so take note of that. You can work that as an alternative solution and also keep it somewhere in your notebook. So don't do what problems like this anymore. Okay? All right. And this solution looks too short for me. So please take note next time. And it's too close, like put some spaces in your work. You know, all right, good job, Mr. Chang. Okay, oh my god, so many questions sent by Mr. Chang. Let's start with the first one. First one has been checked. 
15 is not a natural number, so only n is equal to 14 is the answer. So the number is equal to 14. Can I see therefore the number is 14, please? Consecutive. Good. All right. Mr. Cheng, you said the two consecutive are 15 and 17. What about the other option? Minus 17 and minus 15. The question well, is the right? positive. Yeah, is minus 15 not the number? Well, there's also 15, the positive, right? So. Yeah, you put both as your answer. Therefore, the consecutive odd numbers are 15 and 17, or minus 17 and minus 15. That's the Can I just put absolute values on the two? No, you're not getting my point here. In your solution, on one side, you got x, you got x equals 15, if I'm right. Then you work out x plus 2. You got 17. While x is 15 here, you also got on the same level or step, you got this. Then you work out x plus 2, you got that. I skipped so many steps, I'm just explaining. So your conclusion will be, therefore, the numbers, remember the numbers are x and x plus 2. Mm. The numbers are, so this is one option, 15 and 17. Or this is another option, negative 17 and negative 15. And in any case, if you multiply, you get to 55. So both of them needs to be considered because if you multiply this also, you get to 55. Does that make sense? So you have to yep. always consider both of them, not one of them. Okay. okay. All right. Mm. Let's see the next one. Crystal K, yeah, the next. Just a minute, please. Mr. Jones? You had your headphones, so you didn't hear me, so that's why I'm sending it. Oh. Can you help? You can use yours too, or you can just use this. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll use this? Yeah. Right. Just, what, what, what do I do? Uh, just a couple of shots from a friend and uncles. Okay. Okay, let's see Krista while Mr. Jones is doing what he's doing. Okay, Krista is good. Krista, oh my God, you skipped too many steps. Where is that lazy girl? Come here, Krista K. Lazy, lazy. Where is that lazy girl? <laughs> Question. Thank you, sir. Question, um, which one is the length and the width question? Seven. Yeah, why did you skip so many steps? From x squared plus 4x minus 26 equals to zero, you just wrote x is equal to minus two root. Because you have a uh, graphical whatever display calculator, is that why? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's why you're lazy. Now I want to see the steps. You can be lazy in your exam or when you write your IB and put everything in, in your, you know, 
then your calculator, but not in my class. I want to see the steps. Okay? All right. Uh, now, kids, I'm checking your next one. We're going to close the class very soon. Uh, please keep doing the work. You don't have to complete everything now. You can always send it to me later. Okay? And you don't have to complete everything at all. It's practice, like I said. Uh, Nakita, uh, don't forget to... Did you hear that? Did you miss that? No. No? <laughs> What is Lillian this eating is that bread? Yes, Leo. For number seven, how many uh, significant figure do you want? For no decimal, name? no decimal. I just said that, no decimal. Use sort form. Okay, okay. Get your answer in the sort form, like A plus root B, or A minus root B, something like that. Mm -hmm. And one of them will be uh, positive. You have to determine which one is positive and which one is negative, and the negative one will not be accepted. Can you tell me, Leo, why the negative one will not be accepted? Leo? There's no negative with... No. Okay. If you have A plus root B and A minus root B, one of them is negative. Why, if, if one of them is negative, let's say this one, why would this one be rejected? So you have x is equal to this or this. So for example, x is equal to 3 plus root 7, or x is equal to 3 minus root 7. And I claim that x cannot be this. So I write something like, since x cannot be equal to 3 minus root 7, can you tell me why? That's my question now. And I say therefore, x is equal to this or whatever the question is asking. Can you tell me why you? Uh, Read the question, what does it say? Read the question from the beginning. The length of rectangle is four, four centimeters long. Oh. Now you so, know. Uh, cannot be like, Four centimeters longer than the necklace. Say that again. The wolf cannot be four centimeters longer than the necklace. No, no, the... that's not it. No? What do you represent your X with in your solution? I, I don't have X. I only have L and W. Okay. Oh, so whose question am I looking at? That I opened your question. Yeah, you asked me the question, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so if you have maybe L or W, which one is this? Which one gives the significant figure? Is that L or W? W. Okay, so if this is not X, if this is W and this is W, because that's the sort format, can you tell me why W is not equal to this? Actually, if I use 17, because that will be negative by default, but automatically that's negative. Can you tell me why W is not equal to this? Because this is going to be a negative number. Because your width cannot be negative. Have you ever seen a rectangle that is negative in length? That's why I said in the first time. Oh, I didn't. What did you say? I said like the width cannot be negative. No, I didn't hear that, sorry. I thought I had something like, you said, I thought I had the length cannot be four greater than the width or something. That's what I keep hearing. Anyways, so that's that. Okay, okay guys, uh, I have a meeting in 15 minutes time. Which question should we do after question seven? I thought it's on the board. I said, uh, I said continue with 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, as much okay, as bad. you can do. And that's okay. As much as you um, can do. Yeah, right. I'm doing it already. The more practice, the better. Good job. I'm, I'm particularly interested in the last uh, four questions. So just try your best to be able to.
to them. Miss mm -hmm. K, I got two new messages. Uh, number five, good. Number six, let's see. Mm. Okay, Lizzie Karen also will not show me the steps. Where's Lizzie Karen? Come here, Miss. Hello. Hi. Skip so many steps, just like your Lizzie friend, Crystal. Here. Look. Oh. Oh. You, you jump from here to here. Don't do that in my exam, in my class. In the external exam, that might be allowed, but I want detailed solution so I can know how you manipulate the, you know, the workings. All right, that's why I just requested. But this is good. Since this is less than zero, but the width cannot be zero, then the width must be that. Good girl. I'm dancing for you. All of my dance moves is accepted. All right. Good job, good job, guys. Good job, guys. So, in particular, this last three questions. Uh, this is the last one. We've done optimization, so we're not going back to that. So, this is the end of our quadratic. This one, try your best. This is about golden ratio. Have you guys heard about golden ratio? Guys, have you heard about golden ratio? Yes. Yeah, have you heard about Fibonacci sequence? Yes. There was a time I was crazy about this Fibonacci sequence and stuff that I tried to test the ratio of two consecutive sides. And I think after I got to, if you check Fibonacci sequence, all right, after I get to maybe 20 and above, maybe the term or maybe the number itself, I realized that the ratio of two consecutive side is approximately a golden ratio. Do you understand what Fibonacci sequence? Everybody knows that, right? What, is the, what are the terms in the sequence? In Fibonacci sequence? Anyone? One, one. One, one. Wait, 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 wait. Wait for me, wait for me. Get too fast. Professor Cheng. One, one, mm -hmm. two, two, three, three, five, five, five eight, eight, thirteen, thirteen, twenty one, thirty four, right? Yep. Fifty five. Am I is there an error? No. No. So. so if you try the ratio from here to here is one, this is two, this is 1.5. If you continue, at the point you get the golden ratio. Hmm? At the point you get the ratio. Do you know what a golden ratio is? Karen? No? Can you go online? Type golden ratio. After this, we close for the day. Type golden ratio, everybody. Go online. Can you see? It's actually the square. It is a number whose square is exactly okay. I'm not going to tell you. Let's square this number. So can you see my screen? Let's square this number, raised to power two. Did you notice something? What I squared is here. What I squared is here, and this is what I get. Did you notice something? Karen, what do you notice? Mm -hmm. uh, like all all number increases by one, but the rest multiplies. Yeah, that remains the same. Okay, so the golden ratio is that number whose square is exactly the square of the number is exactly one added to the number. This number is a golden ratio. Okay. So if you continue this Fibonacci sequence, 
at the point, the ratio between consecutive side will be approximately that golden ratio. If you continue this with energy sequence. I think I was watching a movie then, early 2000. I've probably told you about the movie before. Numbers. Did I mention it in your class before? Numbers is a series. <laughs> very interesting. You should watch it, guys. You should watch it. Very, very sweet. Scary, you don't have to look like that. It's not as scary. It's actually very sweet. <laughs> Okay, guys, uh, I guess I'll see you next week. Do I, does I, anybody have a question for me? You guys should find this movie, okay, and watch it. You'll see how math, geometry, and all this stuff can be used to solve. Actually, it's about the professor using this knowledge of math to solve crime problem, like crime, to solve, you know, uh, crime cases. Okay, so someone jumped, someone, uh, someone's body was found on the floor, for example, of a building, then he's going to do some math and explain to them why this person actually didn't commit suicide, but somebody actually pushed the person using math. <laughs> it's like a combination of math and criminology. It's very, very interesting. Trust me, you love it. I'm sure Lillian will. You know, Lillian is uh, Lillian, Lillian. Okay. I'll see you guys uh, next week. Do more practice. Send me questions. If you do not want, uh, I don't, you don't have to send it to me to grade. You can just request for the solution. Oh, I've tried this. Can you send me the solution so I check with what I did? I'm happy to do that. Okay, but I don't want to send the solution just yet to everybody so I do not uh, ruin the chance of people trying to do it. Okay, do we do we all agree with that? So I do not just you know send you the solution and we all get lazy, we don't want to think. So you make the attempt first and then request the solution, then I'll send to you. Okay. So I guess I'll see you next week. The, uh, the schedule has been changed. Unfortunately, we are now stuck with 40 minute session three times in a week. Ah, so annoying. So we're gonna have to be fast whenever we come to class. And as time goes on, if we need to do what we agreed before to meet on some weekends to practice, we might implement that if we both agree as time goes on. Let's see how the 40 minutes, three times in a week, how we can go with that first. Okay? All right. You got to be good. Stay safe. Eat good food. Sleep. Stretch. Laugh. What else do you do? Play video game. Don't send message through a.m. in the morning. You, I'm talking to you, you, you. He's not looking at the screen. You, yes, you. <laughs> the guy with his cap. <laughs> All right, take care, guys. I'll see you next week.